that you can download for the .net for the robot or for the for the mindstorms. And then um, just need to boot a second. And what uh, you can do is easily use this in PowerShell if you are uh, experienced PowerShell uh, developer. And then you can easily give this runbook to somebody else, which can then use it in there. So I give it a little flag. I'll just check if it's connected. Yes, it seems so. Hopefully, I'll go straight enough to uh, not fall down on the floor. <laughs> that might be a risk I can take. Anyway, I just need to check one thing here because this actually it's, the robot is just connected to my laptop here. There we go. So what I can do here if I test my runbook is I can trigger the runbook, go test, and go DC. I want the robot website one, and hopefully this should work. Um, so what it would do is to just call my runbook the different commands, um, create the website, and when it's done, it will trigger the robot to drive a few meters and then turn around and wave to you all. And hopefully <laughs> it works. <laughs> so you see that's why I have the direction right. Go this way, turn to the right side. Of course it takes a little while to start the, the run book. But hopefully it, it triggers. So now tension is on maximum level. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, start there, run through. There we go, running, creating the website, hopefully triggering my robot. This is the first try. <laughs> so the website, the photo has been made. Not the fastest robot in the world. <laughs> Come on, little robot. There we go. So it's waving to you, and that was my final demonstration actually. <laughs> it was just to show that you can do anything, you can put anything into PowerShell, even. Small robot. <laughs>